Hey, this is Sasha, and welcome to another episode on Backstage Income, where I share with you behind the scenes how to do something and evolve and grow your business. So in this episode, what we're going to do is I'm going to share with you how to make a thumbnail similar to the ones that I have here, but also a little bit of a different variation to them and how to do so in PowerPoint. I know there's a lot of tools out there that'll try to sell you, uh, you know, hey, this is a great tool for this. This is a great tool for that. But I want to show you how you can use a tool that you probably already have and just the power behind PowerPoint. Now, what I do for my thumbnails is sometimes I'll use Photoshop just depending on what I'm trying to do because PowerPoint doesn't have a brush feature. So anything that you're trying to do, remove a green screen behind like in uh, face pictures, that may be a little more difficult to do. But if you're trying to make things a little more simple or you already have the green screen removed, maybe you pay someone else on Upwork or Fiverr or another freelancing website to take care of a bunch of those images for you, and then you can just pop them in into PowerPoint. Um, and sometimes we'll use Photoshop, sometimes we use PowerPoint, depending on what we're trying to do. And you can really duplicate and create a lot of uh, thumbnails very quickly for your show, YouTube, uh, whatever you're trying to do. So first things first, pop out PowerPoint. You want a uh, 16 by nine, or really just a widescreen version of it. And what we're gonna do is you look for a background that kind of gives you kind of uh, abstract kind of feel, um, some kind of texture. You could search for a texture. You could search for um, a texture, wooden table, anything with wood slats. Uh, you could even use like a mountain or any kind of background that's nature based. But here, let's just take, uh, for example, this wooden texture. I'll just go ahead and copy the image. You could download it to get a more higher resolution. But for this example, we'll just go ahead and, uh, you know, pop it in here. Now, what I've done is you can change the view and I have kind of rulers and you can set up kind of uh, grid lines here and guidelines as well if you want them. Uh, so you know where the edges are to your PowerPoint um, and where you're working in on your space. Now, what I want to do here is I'll right click and format the picture. And now what you can do here is make some adjustments. If you go to kind of picture corrections, you can go ahead, change sharpness. You can change kind of the brightness of it. Uh, you can change kind of the picture color as well. Saturation, if you want to do that. Um, and the temperature. This is a little more tricky to do color adjustments this way right away in PowerPoint. So the way that I do it is I'll go ahead and insert a shape. So I'll go ahead, pop up a shape. I'll go ahead and add one on here. And let's just say we want to make this kind of a whiter background. So what I'll do is change the outline to no outline, shape fill to uh, let's go with a white. And now what you can do is go in the fill and change kind of the transparency. And now you can see I already have kind of a transparent area there. Now you don't have to cover it all up because I've made the picture larger than the canvas anyway, but you can see how it's already starting to come alive. Now I'll go ahead and insert a little bit of text because I like starting with text. And I'll do this on every text box will be kind of a new, new line here. Uh, with the PowerPoint it just makes it easier to manipulate. And let's just say in this example, we're going to create a create an awesome podcast cover uh, thumbnail here, right? So I'll type out create an awesome. And then I can change the words to uppercase. Let's just say for this example, I'll use the Lato font. Uh, I can also change the spacing to make it very tight. I could just do it regular tight. So create an awesome. And now I'll duplicate that, control C, control V, podcast. And we'll go into Lotto here as well. Let's just take a look here. And pop the black podcast. I might change that to normal. Okay, so you can see right there. Copy that again. And you can see with PowerPoint, it is a little more difficult to select things. But other than that, it's really not too bad. Let's create an awesome podcast cover. There you go. So you can see how we're starting to come together. And what I can do is group these if I want. But uh, I'm looking kind of also on the edge of my, my PowerPoint, right? So I'm looking at these lines right there. If I really want, I could go ahead and add a little bit of a, a guideline here or a grid line. 
they're a little tricky to to add, uh, but if you look at the grids, that allows you to really see where the edges are. Okay, so let's go ahead and select these, and you can see I can make them a little bigger if I want, but for now we're okay. Uh, if I want that wood to not be as transparent, I can you know brighten it up a little bit, make it a little whiter, just to give it a little you know texture or feel. If I want a little color, here's what I do. We'll insert a shape, and in here there's kind of this triangle shape. So we'll go ahead, add a triangle, and I could change the color. Let's say no outline again, shape fill, and uh, more fill colors. And you can select the exact color that you want right here. Let's say we're going kind of for a little bit of a, a greener feel. So you can play with what green you like right there. So I'll go ahead and fill this, rotate this shape a little bit more, and then I'll, you know, now I can tweak the size of it or the angle that I want, okay? So you, you'll play with this uh, based on, you know, the overall what you're trying to do. Okay, so now, maybe I'll stretch it a little bit here. Now what I can do is insert a face picture of me, and what I have is, I have a lot of face shots that I've pre-taken and all I need to do is just kind of drag one in there and they already have the background removed so they're all PNGs. So all I do is kind of uh, pick a face shot, uh, doesn't matter which one I choose but uh, let's just say I pick one and we'll do, I'm just looking at on my other screen, like let's say this one can see there we go if I need to brighten that up I can go ahead and uh, go to the pictures and then here you can sharpen and brighten and add a little contrast to that and there you go so you could see how all of a sudden this is coming together if you need to move it behind the text well you can right click and send to back or send backwards so you could do it one at a time and this is just about rearranging your layers correctly. I've set this up to where I have kind of shortcuts. So that's now behind the text and now this one will go behind me and now I kind of have my my thumbnail almost created. So you can see how it works very well to really make these uh, thumbnails and if you just kind of take a look at it you can see it's pretty good. Uh, the green right here you can see is slightly is noticeable just by the editing of the green screen uh, but that's you know not PowerPoint's fault but uh, you can also add things to uh, let's just say these this text here as well so if you want kind of uh, let's just say a gradient effect uh, you could do that as well so take a look right here so we'll go from maybe a dark blue to maybe a lighter blue so you could see here's kind of a bluish effect there I could even add in you know you could add in reflections here I try not to overdo it but you can see there's a reflection there's a lot of cool things that you could do with PowerPoint uh, you could do some outer glow as well if you want an outer glow uh, effect uh, so you can add quite a lot to PowerPoint that most people just are not aware of uh, here with this uh, triangle shape as well you can add a, a gradient there so you can see here I have kind of a gradient change it to more of that blue so now you can see it's already being adjusted and a simple cover for your needs you can do uh, change things up if you want a little bit more of let's say a, a darker background you could go ahead and let's just say I want more of a nature let's say I'm looking for mountains so now I take this picture of the mountains, copy the image, go ahead, paste it. It's going to be in front of everything. So I will now just send it to back pretty much everywhere. I'll go ahead and change this text, um, text option to white. Okay. Now you can see it's a little bit of a problem, it's too busy, so what I do is insert that shape, and if you put on a shape overlay on this, and we'll remove the shape outline, shape fill, let's just leave it at this so you can see what it looks like, but here's kind of the transparency, I'll send it to back a bit, and now you can see 
how it looks. And you can even do kind of a gradient fill on this as well. So if you want a little bit kind of a transparent gradient on there, you could kind of do something like this and now look at what kind of thumbnail that creates. So a lot of variations there to creating a very nice thumbnail simply by using PowerPoint. I hope that gives you a little bit of insight and perspective really of the power behind it. And to save this, all you do is uh, you can just save as, and then once you save it, you can go ahead and just save it as a JPG. So let's just say I go here, it'll connect, and then from the PowerPoint presentation, you do the JPEG, and you might need to crop it um, depending on the size that you have on the PowerPoint, but other than that, you're pretty much good to go. So I hope that makes sense and gives you a lot of insights to playing with PowerPoint to creating your thumbnails. If you wanna make the next one, let's just say you hit Control D, and now you say how to create an awesome a blog, whatever. So now you're duplicating things. I'm moving uh, one picture out of the way. I'll put a different one in here. So you can see it's very quick and now I can have two different covers very quick. So anyways, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you found this video helpful to creating your YouTube uh, thumbnails and covers um, or even just creating and working with images that PowerPoint is a very powerful tool for some things like this. Uh, where you don't have to work with a lot of layers um, and dimensions like you do with Photoshop. Anyways, thanks for joining me. If you want to join me on the newsletter list, then go ahead, click the button right over here and be a part of my, uh, my group. Uh, otherwise, if you want to just hang out on YouTube, then click the button right below this video and just subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.